there you go. Couldn't be playing a could it. The Daily Mail is saying sugar is the new tobacco. If you're trying to make healthier food choices, are you aware of those hidden sugars in your diet, such as in pizza, margarine, even canned vegetables, unbelievably? A new campaign called Action on Sugar is calling for a drastic reduction in our intake. You may not have a sweet tooth, but you could be eating more sugar than you realise, as it's hidden in everything from tinned soups to sunflower spread. Bread can contain more than a teaspoon of sugar per slice. Fat-free yoghurt has five teaspoons per portion and cooking sauces and salad dressings as many as seven. Even swapping a can of Coke for a coffee or chocolate for yoghurt won't always mean less sugar. I wouldn't expect a, a yoghurt to have loads of sugar in it. I think generally people tend to think that coffee is a healthier option. It's an excusable kind of treat. Well, I've got 13 cubes of uh, sugar in there, haven't I? The new campaign calls for better food labelling so shoppers can be more savvy and adjust their eating habits. We're joined now by cardiologist Dr. Asi Malotra from Action on Sugar. Good morning to you. Good morning. It seems that we've been aware of the dangers of saturated fat for a long time and things like salt as well. Why is it taking so long for us to turn on to sugar? Because that could be the biggest problem of all, couldn't it? That's a very good point. Well, first of all, I think the important thing to say is that added sugar has no nutritional value whatsoever. You do not need it in your diet. And contrary to what the food industry wants us to believe, you do not need any energy from added sugar whatsoever. Um, we know that foods, for example, in the United States, and the statistics are quite similar here, that about a third of sugar consumption comes from sugary drinks, about a sixth from foods that people you know, associate as being kind of junk food or treats, but up to half comes from foods that people are not aware of, like bread, salad dressings, mm. low-fat yogurts. Why do they want to put so much sugar in? Is it because we're already used to it and we like the taste, or is it because they keep us addicted and keeping us buying their products? Well, I think probably more likely the latter. Um, you know, we need to really highlight to the public that the food industry has been spiking our food with sugar. Um, it's cheap, it tastes good, and it sells. So they have little incentive to change. But it's important for the population's health that we reduce the sugar consumption because even independent of calories and obesity, there's increasing evidence suggesting that even if you're normal weight, if you consume too much sugar, you're increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Well, there's a, a real, uh, quite a startling list in the Daily Mail today of all the things that have loads of sugar in. A frappuccino with whipped cream and skimmed milk has 11 teaspoons of sugar in, which is more than a regular Pepsi or a Coke or even a Mars bar. I know now, you would never think that, that a drink could have more sugar than a Mars bar. It's extremely disturbing. And in fact, just to give perspective to your viewers, the American Heart Association 2009 suggested limits on sugar for the average male of nine teaspoons a day, the average female of nine. six. Nine? So just one drink? Absolutely, the average female of six. But the average four to eight-year-old child, the US Health Department, suggested mm. three teaspoons as a limit. Without stating the, the obvious about reading the labels more and maybe cutting sugar out of your tea and your coffee, what one thing can we do? Well, I think the public needs to be more aware of actually the amount of hidden sugar in foods. So, and for, I think one statistic that's important for people to take away, or one bit of information really, is four grams is one teaspoon. So when they read the labels, four grams is equivalent to one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. We need to gradually reduce the amount of sugar we're eating. Uh, I had a sweet tooth, like anybody else. Once I read the science and looked at the research, I've completely cut sugar out of my diet. Mm -hmm. I don't crave it anymore. I'm trying my best as well. I see. Thanks very much. You know, you'd feel smug if you put in a 0% fat vanilla yogurt in your trolley and some vitamin water, and yet mm. that would bring you up to nine teaspoons of sugar the, in those, just those two items. Those fat free products, they bolt them up with sugar well, to make them taste better because they have less fat in, oh, you see. Goodness. Right. Thank you very much. Worth thinking about, isn't it? If you're trying to lose a bit of Absolutely. weight in January.